Dreams do not have a filter that your normal, polite, waking self puts up. Welcome to the hidden meaning of dreams with Sweet Georgia Pam. It does matter what the dreamer themselves associates with those things that come up in the dream. Spiritual director, dream expert, author, and educator, Sweet Georgia Pam is here to remind us that dreams are the answer. They're always with you. They know you better than you know yourself, and they're always trying to tell you the truth. There's some back and forth here between you and some awareness. And now your host, Melissa Carter. SweetGeorgiaPam.com is the website. I want you to bookmark that because this is our last podcast of the year. So we want you to listen to the former shows if you have not caught up. We want you to go to SweetGeorgiaPam.com, download a guide that's free. We'll tell you about, also sign up for a newsletter. We'll tell you why that's important. And she's on social media, Sweet Georgia Pam. I thought for this last podcast of the year that we would talk about the holidays because here we are at the holidays. And for a lot of people, Thanksgiving and Christmas tends to be a very stressful time. Now, it could be good stress or bad stress. You know, it could be the stress of I'm hosting everybody and I'm excited about it, but it's a lot of work. Yeah. Or it's people who are dreading seeing family. I come from a radio background and we used to have a segment on one of my shows, (laughs) which (laughs) we would have a member of our show reinterpret people's emails about their holidays in chaotic, dramatic negative, argumentative, whatever it was. And we would make a joke out of it. Like you're not alone if you dread the holidays. Nice. I know that that is there. Mm-hmm. And I just was hoping that maybe you could give some insight for people on how their dreams could help them get through the holidays or what their dreams could be telling them how they're handling the holidays. Oh my gosh. Welcome to my happy place. <laughs> like, oh, that's such a good topic. Because it is, It's in the vein of dreams, but it's also in the vein of like, ah, good, deep inner work. And I'm like, that's mm, yum, inner work. Because it's lasting change, right? Oh, sorry. Yeah, well, it is. I mean, that's what- You got me so excited. I can't sit in my chair. Yeah, if you're you're on YouTube, you saw her just (laughs) knock her camera over. No, Uh, but I reiterate most every episode that dreams are there to help you learn about yourself. Yeah, And so I think that if you use it as a tool, you'd even be better off in times like these next few months that might not be something you're looking forward to. And dreams might be more readily accessible to you during this time because we are, again, we've talked about this before, we're changing our patterns when we're traveling or staying with family or maybe we're sleeping in one morning or, you know, have a more nap in the afternoon, like all of those Mm -hmm. things are going to actually encourage your dreams to be more readily available for you to recall them, to remember them. And so if you go into the holiday season going like, oh, yeah, maybe I'll pay attention to my dreams this time, they're going to show up for you. Oh, like the inner shopper in me is like, go get a fun new blank journal just for this time. (laughs) You know, like I have probably a hundred journals and I like them when they're brand new. And then after I'm more than halfway through, I don't like them anymore because I'm afraid I'm going to run out of space. And so I go get a new one, (laughs) like an excuse to go get a new blank journal. There's always those blank pages at the end. That's true. Is it true for you? I do the same thing. I don't know if I've (laughs) ever gotten to the last page of a journal. That's hilarious. I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to stand that if I were on the last five or 10 pages. So once it's like, oh, (laughs) close to the end, whatever that means for me, I'm like, that one's used up now and go get another one. <laughs> That's such a great invitation for our listeners to plan to write your dreams down during the yes. holidays. They're going to be more available to you if you are paying attention to your sleep health, which you should. And they're going to have a lot more to say right now because of complicated feelings during the holidays. Everybody has had such a shift in the last three years of tradition for yeah. themselves. We've all been through it. Even in my family this year, last year was more traditional than this year is because I feel like this is off topic, but a little bit on topic. I have noticed that 
it seems like we went into pandemic shutdown and survived that. Like, okay, we're doing everything different. Nothing is the same. And then as soon as we could, we came out of it and tried to do everything the same as much as possible. And it feels to me, at least in my circles, like now we're going, what's a good hybrid? Yes. It changed us. I think the pandemic changed us. We have to find our new normal, which is not a bad thing. Yeah. And it's like at first we tried to rebound back to where we were. Right. For whatever that means for anybody. Right. But for me, it was like everything the same. Remember, we're all nothing's changed. Uh, Yeah, we're back to normal, but we are not now we're but now we're like, oh, we're trying to integrate a little bit more of what has changed into tradition. So that might show up in the holiday season. right? Right. So there's a lot of material emotional material for your dreaming mind to use to look at right now. And also what you think about too the tug and pull of tradition, depending on who you're gathering with. And then for those who aren't gathering with anybody, you know, that's the other thing is I think that the holidays, I don't know they're at, for me, like it's supposed to be the, it's the happiest time of year for me to prepare for it. And now that I have my young son, it's been very fun the past few years But I got to say that the difference of interpretation of what should be happening among family members usually ends up being a source of stress. Oh, you're so right. And I I don't want to paint this episode as we're all going to enter into chaos right now. But I also want to acknowledge that when you have when you re-engage with old family dynamics, that brings up a lot of issues that are then, again, rich material for your dreams to help you process. Right. So it might be amazing and wonderful, your whole family dynamic experience when you weren't expecting it, but it means that you had some panic and um, I mean, some anticipation. Could be panic for some, but <laughs> it might be panic, right? And and if it's repressed, then, it, then that's really going to show up in your dreams. So your dreams tend to show you the emotions that you're not making space for. I'm not trying to pile on all these different scenarios because again, it's not all bad. Some people have fantastic holidays, but also I know in some of my circles, as we get older, um, for those of us who are (laughs) on the older side, um, that sometimes the holidays gathering with family is wonderful as it is, but you see the aging process of some of your elders. So I've known friends and including myself who've lost mothers the past couple of years. And so, or in, and seeing the decline in other members, I have an, another friend who uh, has a family member who now has Alzheimer's and seeing that mm-hmm. decline. So I just, you know, it, there's, it's just the fact it, and tell me if I'm wrong, that the holidays tend to, again, put you out of your normal cycle. You're doing something completely different. And if you're a part of a dynamic where there is also some kind of stress or like you said, an anticipation that may may not be positive, that is going to reflect in your dreams. Yes. So the way that they talk about it in intellectual circles is that dreams are compensatory in nature, meaning they can compensate for your psyche being out of balance. So if you're way too negative in waking life, you might have a super positive dream. It's inflation, deflation of the ego. So if you're way inflated in waking life, you might have a dream that helps you deflate and like come back to um, humility right. um, because of what's in your dreams. So dreams are going to be always sort of about, ba- not always, can be balancing out your ego or your psyche or your fears or your, you know, they compensate for whatever's going on in waking life because you're making space for certain things in waking life and the other things are being repressed and building in pressure underneath the surface. But it's like the analogy that's coming up is rich soil. It's fertile ground for personal growth, for truth telling, like being honest with yourself and for new hope. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Now we're in the holidays, right? So there is this spirit of hope that enters in. You could actually record your dreams and then use that personal reflection to set New Year's resolutions that make more sense or that are more, not more intentional, but more intimate and accurate. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So maybe the New Year's resolution doesn't stay on that ego level of I'm going to lose 30 pounds. I'm going to go to the gym every day. I'm going to finally drink enough water. Maybe your New Year's resolutions can become 
I'm going to work on the family dynamic that I have surrounding my uncle's addiction or whatever it happens to be. You could use your dreams to sort of drive that New Year's resolution setting. Now, is there a way, I don't know, I mean, because this is, I know this is generic. It depends on somebody's, you know, personal experience, their dreams. And this is what, you know, Sweet Georgia Pam's one-on-one sessions are about, where she can dig deep into emotional attachments, pat, you know, like she can really get into your dreams, which you can give as a gift, by the way, sweetgeorgiapam.com. My all, thought also is as you go through the holiday process, I mean, the dreams could change. Like it, it could be like a, almost like this storyline going through the next couple months. If you really, like you said, if you journal these dreams and really see what's happening, it could really give you some insight. On, and like you said, on the honest way that you're responding to whatever's going on with you yeah. in that space. Yeah. Judgment free because dreams are unfiltered. They're always trying to tell you the truth, but it's a version of the truth that you're going to know when you see it. You're going to be like, oh yeah, yeah, I have been doing that. Or yeah, I did maybe respond a little bit you know, differently than I should have. Or you, you're going to see that your dreams are kind of companioning you. <laughs> along the way and going like, here's a, a pretty honest reflection of what's going on around you and within you and maybe maybe how you can handle it. But in both positive and negative ways. Right. Right. Yeah. Because you could find somebody, I mean, you could be around somebody during the holidays and you're like, oh, I never saw you that way before. I mean, you know what I mean? So <laughs> holidays are not always bad. I'm just, you know, but I just know for a lot of people, the idea of what i mean again you get in this pattern especially if you're in a family dynamic you get in a pattern of what to i'm i know what to expect this holiday doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen but in your Mm -hmm. mind you've in this cycle you've trained Mm -hmm. yourself to think uh, you know you think of a family member okay well because there's always one there's always one family member that you tend to like oh here we go (laughs) but it may not it may not do nothing may bad may happen right Okay, so the other thing that I want to introduce here too that's going to kind of help us make sure that that we that we focus on the positive as well and is I'm trying to be a little bit careful because I'm bringing up spirituality and I know that freaks some people out but whatever it works for me that's where dreams take me to is this deep inner experience. Holiday season, the seasonal change around you is infused with spirituality. It is you know, in many cases, faith-based, no matter what complicated feelings you may have or experiences you may have with any one particular religion or faith or with no faith, there is a spirituality that enters in during the holiday season that you can actually set some intention. So there's this practice called dream incubation, which means I'm going to ask my dreams for specific information or for specific guidance on this, that, or the other. And I would like to invite our listeners to use this time, the holiday season, if you're going to be keeping a journal of your dreams. And if you kind of want to track your dream activity to also maybe set some intention for some spiritual truths to come through or for some spiritual guidance to come through. Or um, we had that episode already that we talked about with like animals as messengers and angel guidance coming through and all of those things. So you could invite that in as well. And you can actually you know, laying down, going to sleep, you can be pretty practical about it and go, hey, dream self, I know you're going to show me my complicated relationship with my dad, my brother. Great. Fine. But could you also throw in some divine stuff too? Mm -hmm. Give me a little bit broader perspective. You can ask for help. So that's also the piece that is really exciting for me for the listeners. If you're going to tend to your dreams anyway, ask for some deeper learning that is coming from whatever source is your source, even if it's the great unknown, whatever, loving energy of the universe, whatever it happens to be. And then when you're recording your dreams, you will have that focus as well. So it'll help you again going forward. Not only what is my waking life issue, these are the two questions, but what is the commentary that the dream is now providing on that issue? There's new information coming in your dreams, even if it's a reflection of an old truth. I love it. And then if you happen to be the person who 
is not excited for the holidays, at least this gives you an assignment, something to focus on Mm -hmm. that maybe will distract you enough to where you can have a good holiday. And again, that's not everybody, but you know, from my experience in morning radio, it was a lot of people. We do hope you have a fantastic holiday. Like we said, we are taking the holidays off. We'll have some some bonus material that we'll post here um, over the next couple of weeks. But otherwise, we hope you have a fantastic holiday season. Pam, I hope you have a fantastic holiday. Oh my God, you too, my dear friend. I I feel like we're going to be talking anyway during the holidays. Um, just of course, kind of with each other but... <laughs> because we're friends in real life. So yes, <laughs> <laughs> we are friends in real life. Which I hope comes across. But also to all the listeners, I just want to say thank you so much for finding interest in this, for tuning in and listening to us while we unpack these crazy concepts that are so meaningful to me that I just can't. I I can't stop my mouth from like shouting out more words about dreams and spirituality. And it means a lot to me that you all are tuning in, that you subscribe to the show, because my hope is that you learn over time. You know, you can't get it from just one dream or one symbol, but over time you start to recognize how it works, how the, how the dreaming mind has its own language. It's not logical, but it does have a set of guided rules that it works by. And if you've picked up on any of those, like, done. I've done my job. I want you to be able to do these, this kind of work on your own practice over the holidays and then come tell us about it. I'm telling you when somebody's into something as contagious and Pam is dedicated to dream work, you can tell. And that's why I'm so excited to be a part of the show too, because I wanted to make sure that Pam finds her audience and it gets the recognition she deserves. SweetGeorgiaPam.com is the website. Free downloadable guide called Six Nights to Better Dream Recall. Go ahead and download it for yourself and download it and give it to other people. This is gift giving season and and serving season. And also don't forget she does one-on-one sessions. You can also give that as a gift to yourself or to your friends. You can find out all that information on SweetGeorgiaPam.com and then you can find her on social media dm or sweet georgia pam if you have any questions during the holidays i mean i have a feeling you'll be on social media during the holidays so if you have any questions during the holidays on how to guide you you through that just dm her and she's happy to be there for you so pam my love happy holidays happy new year and we'll see you next time happy holidays to you too sweet dreams everybody get some sleep get caught up The content in this podcast is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Pam Muller is not a licensed mental health professional. If you or someone you know suffers from severe, persistent nightmares, please seek medical help.